Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's you from Happiness and Crafting So today I'm going to show you how I made these lovely little garlands um, They're really really simple um, and such fun and I just think they look absolutely gorgeous Now I've made these to go into my Christmas journal Now the last video I did was the windows um, and I wanted to do like a little window box with them um, but before I've done that I made these and I just think they are lovely because what I wanted to do or what I thought would look quite nice was to pop it onto my journal like that so I just think that would look really really pretty whether it goes there or whether it goes or sort of on the um, shop window on there I'm not quite sure but I just think that looks so so pretty um, and also I have got three signatures in here so I'm going to do three of these so I'm going to put them on the front of each um, signature like that just down the edge of the page and I just think they are lovely now I've got all sorts of bits on there so I'm going to show you how simple um, you can do it I've got little I've done some of my little um, polymer clay I've got some little um, candy canes and I've also got some little just little balls covered in glitter silver glitter and red glitter um, so I made those this morning which are lovely now I do love these candy canes um, I'll pop a close-up of them um, at the end of the video as well and I've got some beads um, some string on there so they are lovely so I'm going to just pop those up there now I'm using this green mossy stuff that I had now I showed you in the, the last video I'm not quite sure what it is um, so I'm just going to take a handful of it and this is what I'm going to be using now I'm going to pop these out the way because I'm going to make a big mess otherwise let's pop those over there and I'm going to use some of this now this is again um, this is galvanized wire now this is from the uh, garden shop now this is about the same thickness as this wire and this is a 20 gauge so use whatever wire that you have um, I'm using this and I've just cut a length of it here and it's this length of my page so it's about eight eight inches I would have thought um, something like that um, so all I'm going to do I'm going to use my glue gun and I'm just going to glue some of this greenery to this piece of wire so really really quite simple um, so I'm just going to lay it out like that there's all sorts of stuff in here um, look, I've even got a little bulb pin don't know what that's doing in there so to start with I'm going to just pop some glue down here now be careful of your fingers okay and I'm going to just take some of this and stick it on like that just wrap it around you don't have to be neat and tidy because this is like a little garland um, I'm going to try and make a little wreath as well um, so I want to pop that in my Christmas journal so this is going to have lots of bits and pieces in this journal it's going to have all sorts of things in there I always end up making mine with so much stuff in them though so let's just pop this on these are so fun and I got the idea actually from the windowsill not the windowsill the window frame that I did um, I just wanted a little gut little um, box little window box on the outside of the win of the um, window frame now if you've not seen the window frame video I'll pop a link um, at the top here you can probably see a link there and it will also be underneath the video as well in the description bit because um, that's a nice fun one to make it's like a little window um, a little paper window pocket so there we go so how simple was that just glue some greenery on there Oops. like that okay that lovely super simple super simple and I'm going to pop this away and I'm going to actually throw these little bits in the bin because they are just dusty bits we don't need those I'm putting it on some white paper so it's 
I can clean up a little bit better. I can just dip it in the bin. So there we go. And I'm going to now, now I've got some wire here. Now this is that very, very thin one that I ordered and I wasn't quite sure what to, to do with it. Now this is a 28 gauge and it's really, really thin. So what I have done on this one, whether you can see, I've just threaded a few beads on there um, and I've just wrapped it around and it also holds the greenery on a little bit better as well. So I have some beads. Now I'm going to do some little pearls on this one. So I've got a few little pearls like this. I'm not quite sure how many I'm going to use, but these were the little, let me put my lid on so I don't knock it over. These are the little beads that I made in here. I've got some little bows and I've got, these are the little um, candy canes that I made, um, which are lovely. And these are the little beads. I might make some more candy canes as well. It was fun because that's something that I could do downstairs because um, I'm taking care of mum. So um, I was downstairs doing that. So what should we do? Should we just, let me just wrap this around at the end like that. I'm going to take a length of this, cut it off. I'm going to cut it off with a pair of scissors because it's very, very thin. Now I hope you can see this without the wire flicking everywhere. I'm just going to thread this on like that. And then I'm going to just wrap this around. It also, as I said, it just holds on that greenery as well as you wrap it around. So there we go. So just keep threading this on. Again, if you've got, I don't have any little red beads. Um, so that's why I made the little polymer clay ones, the little shiny ones. So I'll pop that on there. Just so it wraps around, holds that on going down. Um, so I'm just putting some pearl ones on here. So I'm going to do three of them. So it doesn't mean that they have to be all exactly the same. So let's just pop that on there. Wrap that around like that. But I think a little wreath would look nice because you could make it like this and then make it into a circle. I think would probably be easier. Um, oops, it's easy. So let's pop that on there, hold, oopsie daisy, hold on to it and just wrap the wire around either side of it. Just wrap that down. So I don't know how many beads I'm going to be using but these are quite small, these beads. I'm not quite sure how small. They're not as small as sort of like seed beads. Um, so they are quite a good size. Oopsie daisy. It's a little bit fiddly. And let's just pop that on there. Wrap that around. Doesn't that look good? I think I'm gonna to have to use a little bit more wire on this. So do take your time doing it just so it's all nice and neat. Well, not neat but so you've actually secured everything on there properly. I'm going to go around it again with a little bit of um, twine as well. I've got some pretty red twine so let's pop that on there. Wrap that around. Look at that. It's starting to look so pretty already. And these two pearls are stuck together, so that's no good. Let's get a couple more. Look at these little pearls are stuck together. There we go. How many more do I need? There we go. Let's put that mini down. On. I'm not getting in too close because it does go blurry um, for some reason. The closer I go, the blurrier it gets. 
doesn't focus properly. Now I'm going to just wrap that piece of wire around there and then get another piece. Like that. So that's two, four, six, that's eight little beads on there so far. So we'll probably be about ten. So let's just chop that off. I'm going to thread that through the last bead and wrap that around like that. Take another bead, pop that on. Oh, maybe just nine. Do you think that's going to be? No. Maybe I'll just put nine on there. I don't think it needs another one. Wrap that around like that and the rest of that hold it on nicely so there we go that's the start of it now let's put these back so i don't make a big mess everywhere those back in the box okay let's get rid of this again pop that back up let's put those on there can you see it's looking a little bit the same isn't it so there we go now I'm going to take some of this, which is some thread with the gold um, in it. So I've already tied a knot in that so it doesn't unravel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my glue gun. I'm going to just pop that a little bit of glue on there. And wrap that around. Just like that. Just so it holds it on. Let's unravel some of this. And then I'm just going to go around in between the little beads like that just so it goes around gosh getting stuck so let's just twist that all the way around like that I think that's too much Maybe that's too much. Maybe I'll we'll go every other one. Looks a bit too much, I think. Because I want to add. Let's just do it like that one. That's better. Just like that. That's better. And then I'm going to just wrap that around and glue it. Just with a little bit of glue gun. I would probably stick these on the page with some glue gun as well. I think that would be the best way to put them on. So there we go. I'm going to stick that on. There we are. That looks good, doesn't it? I think that looks really nice. There's another bead there. Now I'm going to pop some little beads on now these are my little polymer clay so I just got some red polymer clay and then rolled it into some red glitter and then I got and then I just rolled them into some silver glitter as well so there we go how many do you think we need let's just pop a little bit on there a red one on. Let's take my tweezers. Pop that on there. I think that will be easiest. So again, if you've got little bits and pieces, little bits of, because um, you can buy the sort of like polymer clay things, can't you? Little ready-made ones. Um, so you might have some things like that or you could put some little bells on here all sorts of things so I'm sure you will have things that you can add to them now the green this green mossy stuff that I've got because it's obviously um, Christmas at the moment they have all those sort of like bits and pieces in the shops now so it's absolutely perfect time to buy it, or you might already have some. 
the egg shape to this one. Oh, if I can pick it up. Nope. Let's just blob it on there. I have to have a couple more red ones. I put them in my big tray because um, I kept losing them. On. Now I've just gone from red and green, but again, you can use any colours you want to, can't you? Well, you need green, but any sort of like baubly colours that you like. Blue would look pretty, wouldn't it? Blue and silver. Okay, I need one more, one more red one to go on there. Then we will go down it with some of the silver ones. To put these down, so that should be enough. I'm not going to pop the little candy canes on this one. I'm just going to pop, make it look a little bit snowy, I think. So I'm just putting them in sort of like a little stack of three, little baubles like that. This one on. The glue, the reason I'm using the glue gun is because it's quick and easy and they stick really well. I know you get like the little threads of it, um, but you know that they're going to stay on there. There we go. Oh, I do like this. Just be careful with the glue. Oops. That oh, I do like them. So pretty. Let's put them on there. So they're quite simple to make, aren't they? I wish I'm getting all, lots of glue everywhere. Oopsie daisy. Let's pick that up. And they're not too big either. Do you know what I mean? They're not too thick. So um, you can pop them into your journals. I'm going to put them on my the beginning page of the signatures because there's normally a little bit more room in your in the beginning of the signatures, isn't there? On the front pages. So there we go. I just think that looks lovely. Look at that big blob of glue on there. There we go. Love it. Look at that. Now I'm going to make it a little bit snowy. And what I've used for that is, of course, some gesso. If I can get the lid off. My lovely big pot of gesso. Now let me just take a great big piece of this. And all I'm going to do is just blob it on and quite a bit just so it sort of like um, blobs on it don't sort of paint it just sort of like blob it on like that oh sorry my battery just went on my camera then so I don't know why because that was a new one I'm not very impressed with the batteries on it that I brought but that's okay. They don't last very long at all. So anyway, so I am just blopping this on like that, which I think looks nice and snowy. So you can probably do with this with, um, if you don't have gesso, you could probably use a little bit of white paint, would we'll do the same thing. So just pop that on, I'll pop it over that piece as well. And that's as simple as it can be, isn't it? Now again, I'm going to put as well, let me pop that to the side. I'm going to put, where's my stickles? I've got some stickles here because I do love my stickles. I'm just going to add that just on top of the, the um, gesso. Oops, this will come out. 
just a little bit on top. Oh my gosh, this is stuck. Oh, here we go. Let's use our little bulb pin, push that down. These do get stuck because it's got obviously the little bits of glitter in there, they get stuck in there. So I'm just going to add just a little bit, just for an extra bit of sparkle on there, because I do like the sparkle. I will show you a close up at the end because um, I am a little far further away today, I think. Oops, too much. There we go. So I just think they look lovely. Now, shall I? I could have stuck a few little candy canes on there, couldn't I? Depending on which way. I just think they're so cute. Maybe I will. Definitely make some more. So I think I'll put this one in the middle there. Like that. They need to sort of like go down because it's going to go down the page, isn't it? So really we want them like that. Let's take another one. So I'm going to put three on there. Because I only made, I think I only made nine, eight actually, I think. Let's put some glue on there. Let's have this one facing this way. What did I do with that glue? Oh, there we go. Oops. Be a little bit neater than me, but not that it really matters because I think it looks a little bit sort of like rustic. Now, again, you've got, um, you can use some twine as well, some sort of like, um, burlap on string and things like that. Which way do we want to go? This way. There we go. Okay, let me put it this way so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got this as well, which is lovely. And I also, you can do it in sort of like a nice rustic colours as well, which would look really nice and make some bows up and pop them on. But I just think that is a gorgeous and these little bows that you can put on there as well. You can pop a little bow on there. Should we stick a little bow on there? No, I don't need that. Just, just enough like that. So that's that one. That's the one that I did before, which goes this way, which are lovely. So then they're, they're pretty similar, aren't they? And then I love this one. Absolutely love this one. I think it's gorgeous. So I will be, and then just a little bit of stickles, you can see just shining on there, which looks lovely. So I will be making a little garland, not a garland, a little wreath. So I'm going to give that a go as well. And I will show you what, what that looks like. But there we go, guys. That is our little wreath, garland, not wreath, a garland to go on our journal. So this will just sit on there. Not quite sure where I'm going to put that yet but I do think it's lovely and I love the little bow in the middle so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me I hope you're going to give that a go um because it's great fun and I think it looks fantastic now let me just show you actually what it would look like let me get my little window frame out let's see look there's my window frame I haven't actually tried it on here yet I'm going to put those to the side because that one's wet so this, oh look at that, that would look lovely, a smaller one on there. Oh, that's what I think I'm going to do. And look, you can make one with a little window frame at the bottom, a window box at the bottom, but I'm going to make a garland, I think. And then you've got the little tag that goes in and out. So I'll pop a link to this video to make this little window pocket, but that, doesn't that look lovely? So there we go, guys. That's what I have been up to today. Um, thank you so, so much for joining me. Please stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.